after nine and a half years and three billion miles. miles, a power-packed NASA spacecraft is about to make history. Where's me out thinking about it? Yeah. In less than an hour, the New Horizons spacecraft will zoom past Pluto, approximately 7,800 miles from the surface. Uh, we're tracking progress live on the NASA feed, as you can see. So our Eric Lufer is live at the Fisk Planetarium on the CU Boulder campus following the Colorado connection to this mission. Good morning. You know, this is something people here at this great university do not want to miss. This is a first in space, and to top it all off, a CU-designed piece of equipment is on the spacecraft. There is a huge event going on here at the Fisk Planetarium coming up later this afternoon at 5 o'clock, but we're going to get inside the planetarium on the other side of these walls here early. That's coming up in about a half hour. Take a look at this photo. This was tweeted by NASA recently, earlier this week. You're looking at the first student-built science instrument for a planetary mission designed by CU. Boulder students. It's called a student dust counter. It's been measuring dust particles that have been colliding with New Horizons during its journey. I talked with two CU grad students over Skype. They're at John Hopkins University's Applied Physics Lab in Baltimore. That's where this whole mission is being operated. We, we just can't wait. It's, it's one of the most exciting things in our lifetime, and we, we can't wait to see what we get. And here's another live look from NASA's feed. We're getting close to that moment that is nine years in the making. For much of the day, New Horizons will be out of communication with Mission Control as it gathers information about Pluto and its moons. But as we come back here live, there could be a chance that we get some new images of Pluto, some clear images of Pluto as early as this morning. We'll have to wait and see. But coming up in about a half hour, that's going to be the uh, spacecraft is going to be the closest to Pluto as it will ever get. We're going to talk to an astronomer about all this inside the planetarium. That big projection screen coming up in a little bit. Back to you. It's a big day. Thanks, Eric. Mm.